it's Camille and today I'm going to show you how I used the Red Pro Ceramic Heat Brush to straighten my naturally curly hair and give tips on how you can do it. So I start by having my hair in French braids because this makes my hair less tangled and this way it won't be curly and as soon as I take out the braids then it's just wavy and ready to be straightened. So as you can tell here, I can actually kind of run my fingers through my hair because it isn't my regular coils that get all coiled together and this is just a lot easier when I'm trying to straighten my hair. To prep my hair, I use my keratin and green tea reconstructor which just reconstructs the bonds of your hair and strengthens it. So when I put heat on my hair, it will activate this and strengthen my hair. I just spray this all over throughout my hair to just kind of get it all over the place because you want your hair to be strengthened and protected if you're ever going to put heat on it and since this is heat activated I wouldn't miss out on the opportunity of adding some keratin back into my hair since it's going to be heated up anyways so might as well make your hair healthy when you have the chance. Next, I use a silk reconstructing complex with heat protection properties. You put it into your hair and it will add shine and protect against any heat damage. And it also does have reconstructing properties to it. So it does help strengthen your hair as well. So as you guys can tell, I'm all about hair health and anything that I can do while I'm adding heat to my hair to protect against it and reconstruct my hair is definitely something that I will be doing. The last product that I put in is this heat protective straightening cream just to help straighten my hair. And since it is a cream, it does kind of hold your hair together when you want it to stay grouped together once it's straightened. So I do find that this combination of products kind of helps with frizz and just keeping your hair straighter. So once I evenly spread the product throughout my hair, I plug in the ceramic ion heat brush so it can start heating up. And the first button I press is the ionic button and this turns on the ionic technology that keeps your hair silky and shiny and reduces frizz which is a curly girl's dream to reduce frizz. So that's definitely the first thing you turn on and then you hold on the power button for about 4 seconds and it will turn on and then after that you can tap it to change the settings from 300 degrees to 450 and I started with about 410. This number will keep blinking until it has reached the heat setting, so while it's blinking, then you want to start sectioning off your hair. As Drake would advise, start from the bottom, and this is easiest because when you're starting from the bottom, you don't ruin any parting or the way that the hair lays at the top, which I've done it both ways. Afterwards, I did a touch up starting from the top, and it's definitely better to start from the bottom. Then I whip out my small tooth comb and I just comb through the curls initially, well the wave curls, like the fake curls that come after you unbraid your hair, and I just do this because it makes straightening easier. So I would do this with any type of straightening technique. And then I go in with the brush, and this detangles while straightening at the same time. As you see, the first run through straightens it more, and then each time you go through it, it gets straighter and straighter. The key to getting it as straight as possible is pulling your hair taut and you can use the chasing method that I show here, pulling the brush after the comb so you can get your hair even straighter. And look at that shrinkage girl. My hair is like doubled in length. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, just combing it out and then using the brush to chase after the comb and holding my hair taut to get it nice and straight. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your weave. Now take out your next layer. I do my hair in three layers, so I did bottom, middle, and then top, just because it's simple and it's pretty easy. And the thing that I like about this brush is that you can use bigger sections than you would do with a flat iron. With flat irons, I have to take very tiny sections, but the brush covers more hair at once, so it can be quicker depending on how you use it. And I do the same thing with the top layer, just brush through all of it. I don't section my hair as small as I would with a flat iron because this is wider and bigger and you do get to comb through it in bigger sections anyways. So it just, you can cover so much more ground with this than a flat iron. And after I've straightened everything, I like to do another once over to make sure everything is as straight as possible and my hair is laid as flat as possible. And now you have straight hair from curly, fake curly to straight. I haven't straightened my hair in a hot minute, so I am living for this straight hair. And I really do enjoy the ionic technology because it does help with frizz and TBH frizz is my arch nemesis so whatever I can do to get rid of that I will definitely be doing as well as the products that I use I think those contribute a lot to my health of my hair 
and anything that I can do to save it after having bleached it and knowing that I'm going to put heat on it. But that's pretty much all you need to do to straighten your hair with a brush. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment down below what you thought of it. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my Instagram, all my social media is linked down below, as well as my vlog channel where I post daily vlogs. And the products that I use will be linked down below in the description box as well. So thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.